Season four. Really? Baby. There's four, four seasons? I thought this was three. Welcome back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Mystery Menu. I'm oh, Ham. I'm Sola. And this is Mystery Menu. And we make a menu based out of a mystery item. We have one hour. One hour. One secret ingredient. And we have to make dinner and dessert. I want to try and enjoy this round a little have more. Have a little more confidence. Uh -huh. It feels like a painful experience. Uh -huh. And then at the end of each tasting, we try it. We're like, oh, that's not so bad. Uh -huh. We're not that terrible. Yeah, we, yeah. we can do this. Uh -huh. Maybe start with that attitude. What would you hope to see? A uh, protein. A protein. I would like to see something that's not processed, that's a base ingredient that we can really go crazy on. Like a whole leg of a barico ham. Mm. Or like a whole animal, like a whole suckling pig. Or, oh, what if the theme for the season is every episode we incorporate caviar? We can do that. We'll, we'll, we'll really okay? show them. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's stretch what the, budget, what the budget's like. You're being very delicate with this bag. This face makes me worried. Yeah. He's, look, he's, he's so excited for this. He's like, this is going to ruin their lives. Frozen waffles? No. It's a box. Too heavy to be donuts. Too heavy to be donuts. Oh, oh. hey. Wow. Whoa. OK. This we can do. It's a protein. It's bacon. Oh, versatile, delicious bacon. It's America's prosciutto. We have to do a BLT. Yes, some kind of BLT thing. You do a BLT amuse. Uh -huh. You do a BLT first course. What if we did diner tasting? Yeah, I like that. Does it have to be sliced bacon? Could we get like a slab bacon, like a chunk unsliced? Because then we can like cut that up, braise that nice and slow. Well, maybe that should be the, that should be the entree, like the, entree. The, the braised bacon with red eye gravy. And like a sous vide egg. What if for the egg course, that's like an earlier course and it's the, the egg, bleh, you know? With the, the cut bleh. top? We'll just do a classic soldier. Yeah. So the bacon element will just be crispy bacon. Crispy bacon. And we can brush a little bacon fat on the soldier. <laughs> you know what would be great on the little egg? Uh -huh. A little trout roe. Well, <laughs> trout roe we can get. It's not caviar. It's much it's cheaper. Not We're caviar. saving caviar for, for the gingerbread show. Down. Yeah, yeah. A little trout dollop roll. of trout roll would be trout nice. Roll. That's nice. That's not a good first course. That's like second course. Mm -hmm. First course needs to be a little, a little bit lighter. lighter. What's like a light thing you can do with bacon? BLT salad? BLT salad. That sounds, it's going to yeah. be really nice and bright. So wait, wait, what's that Elvis sandwich? It's banana, peanut butter, bacon? That could be fun for the dessert. That could, that should be the dessert. What if we did an Elvis kind of like crepe flambe type thing. That's going to lighten it up and it'll be a lot it faster. Up. It'll be a lot faster mm -hmm. and then we'll light something on fire. Yeah, Every, everybody that. wins. So like yeah. a crepe Suzette yeah. Elvis combo. Whoa, is it crazy? So we've got bacon and sausage. Can we make a sausage with bacon? Is there a grinder? Yes. What if it's a, what if we call it like a, What's in a Grand Slam? Like a little, little, a little nugget of sausage at the bottom, and then the soft scrambled egg, mm -hmm. and then the crispy bits, foam, trout roe. First course, fruit cup. Second mm -hmm. course, uh, Grand Slam egg. Third course, the red eye gravy. What, what do you else traditionally do you want with that? have red eye gravy with? Grits are good. Yeah, we can do grits. Grits that. and greens. Grits and greens. Like okay. a charred green. That sounds good. Only this is thing like I'm not totally sold on is a salad. The fruit salad? Mm. I think we should do the BLT. Yeah? Because okay. I think it's a little weird to open on fruit. On fruit salad? Mm hmm Or I don't, what about soup? Diners are all about soup. What if it was like, we just went for cold, crisp flavors? Gazpacho. Yeah. It can be like a little, little shot of tomato water with some like bacon thing floating. What's the bacon thing? Like, Bacon oil. Oh, bacon oil. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bacon oil floating. Uh -huh. So it's like completely clear, some oil floating on top. And what if we had a little sidecar of just finely shredded ice cold lettuce mm -hmm. with some bacon bits. So you take your shot, you eat your bite and it's like, boom, I just ate a BLT. Hey, this sounds fun. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm, I'm Great excited. ingredient. Oh, nailed it. I just feel like you're your favorite thing is the BLT, and I feel like it's not represented in this meal. I feel like we should make a BLT. Could we still do the gazpacho with like the little dip lettuce and mm -hmm. then like a little BLT on the side? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, okay, let's do that. First course, 
So it's gonna be a little bowl, and then there's a soup in there. Lettuce bits, and then we'll have a side BLT. The BLTs are gonna be cut in triangles. The egg is... The Grand Slam. Okay, so this is gonna be like x-ray vision, right? So we got our sausage inside. Mm -hmm. It's crazy that we're grinding bacon and making sausage for a quarter teaspoon at the bottom of an egg. That's fine Ooh. dining, baby. If it was real fine dining, you would make the bacon first. Mm -hmm. Soft scramble, and then we'll do some crispy bits. Yeah, crispy bacon on top, and a little maple foam. A little foam, and then we need our trout roe. Double egg, egg on egg on egg. Smoked, that should be smoked, right? Trout roe? Yeah. Yeah. Soldiers though, right? Oh, soldiers, yeah. Uh, milk bread? Yeah. Milk bread. And then we're doing braise. The braise bacon, the greens, and the grits. So a little slab, that's our bacon. A little red eye gravy, whoa. These are our grits. And then greens. And then this is the plate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then crepes. Elvis crepe Suzette. We're doing triangle, like quarters. They're gonna be on fire. Wow, that's Whoa. a flame. Look at those flames. Banana. What if the peanut element is like peanuts? Oh, I like that better. Like, then mm -hmm. it's not like gloopy in your mm -hmm. mouth. So it's just bananas, peanuts, kind of caramelized together. Bacon, fat roasted peanuts. And we'll just put little bits of crispy bacon in there as well. So you get crispy mm -hmm. bacon, banana, peanut. Like texturally, that sounds really nice. That sounds really nice, yeah. I'm most excited to eat and make this. That's gonna yeah. be really good. I also think that this is gonna be delicious. I think that the collards coated with all the braising ingredients and then charred is gonna be really cool. And I mm -hmm. feel like that's gonna be something we're gonna actually make. I don't think this is gonna be that bad. I don't think so. Yeah. Okay. okay, we did it. Well, the planning is always really fun. And now when it's time to execute, just like looking at all the ingredients is scary. We're like completely surrounded <laughs> by stuff. We'll find out in an hour whether we fail or not. Well, no matter what happens, in an hour, I will be eating a BLT. That's true. Three, two, one, go. All right. OK. So first thing I'm making is the crepe batter, because that needs to rest. And then right after that, I'm going to get my bacon braising. So this is our crepe batter. And now this is gonna go into a quart container, pop it in the fridge, and then it's gonna rest until I'm ready to make them. Let's see how long it takes me to open the packages. I wonder if we should have pre-opened the boxes. five minutes longer than I thought. So now I'm working on the bacon breakfast sausage. Um, so this is some frozen bacon that I'm gonna chop up and combine with this ground pork with a little sage, fennel, maple, and pepper. Oh my God. I don't think I'm gonna need any salt because the bacon has tons of salt. All of this is just for a tiny nugget. Okay, so my sausage is mixed. I'm gonna let it chill. So this is a take on a red-eye gravy, which is, you know, you traditionally ham and coffee. So we're doing bacon, some coffee, some coke for sweetness, some dark soy, a little bit of, a little bit of black peppercorns, and some Chinese five spice. One of these days, I'm just going to get pre-peeled garlic so I don't spend my entire life peeling garlic. Coffee, some coke. Coke, I, I, I don't really drink Coke or soda, but Coke is a very underrated cooking ingredient. It gives you acidity, sweetness, and when you cook it down, it gets really nice and, and caramelly. And next I'm gonna get my tomatoes ready for gazpacho. I can't blend it just yet because I need bacon fat, so I'm just gonna get it all marinated. Wow, this garlic is so fresh, it's hard to peel. If your garlic is like really easy to peel, like when you do that trick and you put it in the bowl and shake it, that means it's really freaking old. 
liver, I have bad tomatoes. My favorite thing is to add a little tomato nor, and it really bumps up the tomato flavor and adds, makes it really savory. But it, it does have chicken in it, so <laughs> it also is going to make it not vegetarian anymore. Oops. This bread is really good. These tomatoes are really good. Where's this milk bread from? In Brooklyn? Oh, okay, cool, because we don't go to Brooklyn. <laughs> We're 20 minutes down. Next, I'm just gonna start working on the polenta, or grits, yellow grits. I did not call my grits polenta, cut that out. So I like to cook grits and polenta the same way, so it's four to one but I like to do, instead of just all water or all milk, I do half milk, half water. You get some richness from the milk, but it's not too much, because we're gonna finish this with a lot of butter. Season that up. I'm gonna bring my liquid up to a simmer, and then I'm gonna rain my grits in. I'm gonna make the maple foam for the Grand Slam, and we do need to smoke the trout roe, but it has not arrived yet, so it might be like a last minute thing, or we won't do it. I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna turn it up. How long are we at? 36 on the clock. 36. Oh, stupid bacon. It takes so long. And we have foam. Yeah, just a peanut butter whipped cream. I'm gonna put a little, little peanut butter in there. So I'm gonna start with a little bit of cream just to loosen. How's, how's the bacon looking? Not even close. I think I'm gonna put some in the pan to get some fat. How much bacon fat do you need? I could do with a quarter cup. And then I'm good. That's what you need all day? Yeah. Now this is just gonna go right in the fridge until we need it. Every time we make breakfast, we're waiting on bacon. Always underestimate how long it takes. How are you doing? I'm okay. I have nothing. You have nothing? I currently nothing? have nothing. Grits are in. And cooking grits is a pretty active process, which I guess isn't a great choice when you have so much to do, but I'm gonna need to pop in here regularly and give it a good whisk. So chiffonade, I'm gonna take some leaves roll it up into a tight roll, and then cut them into really thin strips. Because when you're cutting them this thin, you don't really have to worry about all those fibers breaking down. It's a great way to eat a hearty green. Oh, that's a full, <laughs> that's a full blender. We're gonna make it happen. Where's Amelia? What do you need? A two ounce ladle. It creates the perfect suction and pulls the stuff through the fastest. When you said ladle, I thought you said, I wish we had slagle. Allie? Yeah. I always wish we had slagle. Oh no! You okay? Oh no! <laughs> Bacon fell into the, into the gazpacho. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Whoops. I mean, I'll probably eat that later. It'll be great in my BLT. So I'm gonna pop some bacon fat in here. Pop my peanuts right in there. So we're just gonna give these a little toast. At this point, we're waiting for bacon to cook, waiting for this bacon to cook, waiting, waiting for grits to cook. Still need to make crepes. This is what we call in the industry as being in the weeds. We got 20 minutes left. Are you just waiting for things to cook? I'm waiting on things to cook. I'm gonna start making crepes. I'm gonna fill them with my peanut bacon mixture, fold them into triangles, and then warm them up in like a rum, a buttery rum banana, caramelized banana situation. So this is just some dark brown sugar mixed with those bacon peanuts. Okay, moment of truth. I'm going in 
to check on the bacon. Do we have tender bacon is the question. Okay, there's bacon. There will be a BLC. Who knew that the hardest part would be just getting the bacon cooked? Oh, we have it. Sweet, sweet golden bacon fat. Here you go. Precious, precious, precious bacon fat. You said you had bacon too? There's some bacon. You need some? Yes, please. So I season this with salt, pepperoncini, some maple, and there's just some garlic floating around in there. We're gonna get this pan nice and hot. Guys, this bread is so good. Huh? Oh my gosh, I don't have time to smoke that. Okay, I just won't, you're right. It doesn't need to be smoked. 10 minutes, Ham. How do you feel, Ham? Do you think you're gonna get everything? Wish I had a little more time, but grits are looking okay. Okay, we're doing this. You ready? Yes, we have sausage. Come on, guys. Hi, eggs. How you doing? You gonna scramble? How long time? Time, time. Six minutes. Six minutes. A little bacon. We got our brown sugar peanut mixture. Four minutes. Wow. You know, when you start counting down, I really like start to dislike you. I normally like you. It's just when the countdown begins. Yeah, it's like, Jonathan, just shut the hell shut up. Shut the hell up! How are you doing, him? How's what? How are you doing? I'm plating right now, finishing up. <gasps> Amazing. Hey, we'll have gazpacho. Last minute. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Needs a little bit more time to cook but the grits are actually cooked. So it's, I, I would like it a little tighter, but we're okay. Oh, I just need, can you put uh, some of the sauce in the ramekin? Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh. God, that was stupid. Why was that stupidly hard? I was trying to go as fast as I could. Like everything got done in the last seven minutes. I'm so tired. And like though I feel like the entire hour, more than any other one that we've done, I was like shaking, I was really adrenaline pumping, and like I felt like there was more pressure. Like on paper it's really simple stuff. Yeah. It looks great. So let's see. Let's see how it comes out. First course. A little gazpacho? Yeah. Will you pass me a spoon? Cherry tomatoes with some tomato nor. Uh, instead of cucumbers, I added the lettuce to it, a little garlic, sherry vinegar, bacon fat, olive oil. So it's like a BLT just and a BLT. Oh, and there's bread in here. So it's just a BLT blended. It's a blended BLT. And then there's bacon on top. Hmm. That's nice. It's really velvety. Mm -hmm. The bacon really comes through. The acidity is really nice. 
This is good. In the off season, I, f I feel like cherry tomatoes are always better than a beef steak or even heirlooms a lot of the time, just because they're more consistently sweet and acidic and delicious. And then, the just the BLT. BLT. This is the thing that I was so confident we will have a BLT, and I almost didn't get it done. I made this like the last second. This is really good milk bread. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. A really good BLT. BLT is my favorite sandwich. Impossible to get out. Every restaurant has almost everything you need, always, to make a BLT, but no one has a BLT on their menu, and when they do, it's terrible. For some reason, a lot of places always think like, BLT, let's shove as much bacon as possible in there. Bacon is like the accent in a BLT. And this is the perfect bread for it. Mm -hmm. What's... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Savoring the BLT. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the tiny grand slam in a cup. At the bottom is pork combined with the finely chopped bacon, sage, and maple. Massage that together, black pepper as well, and then cooked it in its own fat. Then there's a really, really soft scramble egg with creme fraiche on top mm. of that. Crust, crispy bacon, the maple foam, trout roe, and then the little soldiers, it's the milk bread fried in the fat that rendered out of the sausage. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Tastes like breakfast. Mm -hmm. Trout roe and bacon is always such an amazing combination. Mm -hmm. I'm getting mm -hmm. crazy. Did you get to the sausage? I did. Sausage is really good. Mm -hmm. I really Damn. like the sausage. I think we're going to make that. Mm -hmm. Here we have some slab bacon braised in more bacon, garlic, Coca-Cola, dark soy, coffee, little five spice and, and black peppercorns. Underneath it are Anson Mills yellow grits. And this is actually my favorite part of this whole dish. It's just finely chiffonaded collard greens tossed in maple, pepperoncini, garlic, and bacon fat, and then just sauteed. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, and the gravy. This is the braising liquid just finished with a lot more butter. Once it rested, it got there. It's tender. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's tasty. The ah, grits are so good. The grits are really good. So wow. Good. Who knew? I really like how everything's a little bit silky. Yeah. The pork and the grits and the gravy are really rich, but then the collards have a little punch of heat that cuts everything. This is, I don't know how this cooked. In that amount of time. Yeah, yeah it's it really, really we tender. It. We did yeah. it. Okay. okay, dessert. Dessert, Elvis on fire. Mm -hmm. So crepe filled with a crumble of chopped up peanuts that were fried in bacon fat, little bits of bacon, and then just brown sugar. So that's in a caramel of more bacon fat, brown sugar, rum, bananas, lit it on fire, topped with a peanut cream. It's, it's Elvis, he it's loves Elvis. peanut butter. It's Elvis, I thought it'd you be a little it. over the top, but it's not, you need it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Rum really comes through. Mm. Just something we'd make at home. We, mm -hmm. would, we would have this again. The thing that is the most surprising is how, this is actually a pretty light meal. With mm -hmm. bacon, like I immediately was worried that we would go a little heavy, but it's pretty light and it's not like we used a lot of herbs or acid or anything. It was just like the way the bacon was incorporated. But the thing also, I don't know about you, but I barely use salt. I barely use salt. That's There's why I, so I was, much salt I was really nervous about how everything would be seasoned because I just like used just a little pinch here and there. Yeah. But like the bacon really took it all of the way. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching the newest season of Mystery Menu. We're gonna clean now for an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. <laughs>